The basic idea behind our study was to assess the, the population of forest elephants in Minkebi National Park in Gabon. And Minkebi at the turn of the century had the highest density of forest elephants in Central Africa. And what we found was that elephant populations had declined between 79 and 81 percent, uh, which is a loss of 25,000 elephants in about 10 years. Um, and so that decline, if we say an 80 percent decline, it was a lot stronger, a lot, a lot bigger decline than we expected. We found that the elephant densities inside the park were not that different than elephant um, densities um, just outside the park. Um, and, and it turns out that most of the poaching was coming from the neighboring country of Cameroon. So even though Minkebi National Park is one of the largest and remotest national parks in Central Africa, and within Gabon, the country thought that it had conserved this area because it had this very large park that was tens of kilometers away from the nearest village. And what it turns out is that it's, it was being emptied by poaching coming from Cameroon. That's what we found, and it's, it's, it's devastating for the species. Um, actually, forest elephants are right now considered a subspecies of the African elephant. Um, so they're, they're a subspecies, and then savanna. Uh, elephants are another sub another subspecies. One of the one of the recommendations we make is that we need to separate. And there's lots of genetic and morphological evidence indicating that this should be done anyway. We need to separate the African savanna elephant from the African forest elephant. So each are recognized as distinct species. And by doing that, um, the African forest elephant would be recognized as critically endangered because of its low population. Um, and hopefully that would inspire more international funding and inter international comp conservation efforts.